Yo, what is up guys? This is Abrumanati and we are back with the Brazil 1960 conquest at round 73. Yes guys, that time I remembered the round. How I forget it in like the, I don't know, 8 seconds it takes me to introduce myself in the video, I don't know, but I forget it. Anyways, we got New Delhi, finally. I can't believe how long that held out. And now, up next, the pain in the ass Chong King. And last video, we had a major breakout. Man, we were stuck down in the Balkans for a long time, and finally we got to break out. We basically have all of Europe to reconquer, minus uh, Spain and Portugal, which Portugal seems to have done a better job than Spain at holding out. And I guess France has Bordeaux. I was hoping to get Brussels last game, it didn't happen. I was also hoping maybe I could have got Brazil, I mean Brazil, Berlin last game, didn't happen. But definitely this time, this episode, Berlin and Brussels will go down. And we almost got Mumbai down. We need to get India out of there, clear our path for Chongqing. What is it with this game, or like this series, and all the defensive buildings? If you remember back, Iraq had a shitload. Um, what do you want to do here? Alright, so all we got left is Mumbai and we'll clear out all that bullshit of India. Not only is Berlin and Brussels gonna fall this game, but so is Moscow. It cannot hold up against the might of the super heavies. It looks like we might even be able to start attacking Britain. I shouldn't say Britain, but occupied Britain. That would take forever to do that. I wonder how much you would spend on taking Berlin if you were just bombing it. One bomb at a time, that would take a shitload of time. Luckily, we have strategic bombing. Even that little amount of health was gonna take a long ass time. Just using bombs. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Well... You know what? 
shit happens. There was nothing I could have done about that, the way I started playing at first. I mean, we've learned some things in this this episode, or this series. Mostly of what not to do. Take time at first, so you're not taking a shitload of time at last. I was hoping my US allies could hold out, and they crumbled. So, I should have took the extra few rounds at the first and sent, I don't know, it probably wouldn't have taken many. Five to start with, just to help hold out. And definitely needed more units sent into Africa. 10, 15 depending on what generals you're using. No generals, I would go with 15 just to be safe as shit. If you have some pretty good generals and just 10, maybe even less. I would send 10 with generals just to be safe. So those are definitely a couple of things we learned. Send a defending force to help the U.S. out, and send more tanks through Africa. I still liked the idea of my Mediterranean landing force. It just seemed cool, but it didn't have enough, it didn't pack enough punch. It needed more units. I should have took, man it would have took probably 20 more turns at first to get the units on the US and the more tank units I needed for Africa. But it would have saved me probably, oh I don't know, the specific number of a shitload of turns at the end. So remember that. Take a few extra turns at first so you're not shooting yourself in the ass later on in the ending portions of the game when you gotta go all the way through the US and recapture it. But hey, we're still going to get it done. And that's the point of the game. To win. And we're going to win. This might be like the longest series I've ever put together. But damn it, we're going to win. I might start doing some work on Amsterdam and Copenhagen. And... Alright, we got Paris. Alright, we damn near got Europe back under NATO control. See, I don't even remember Bangkok having that many defensive buildings. Maybe I'm just actually paying attention to them now that, like, the 
Iraq thing happened, but shit, I don't remember everybody having that much defensive buildings. And look at this, I haven't even got close to Chongqing and they are already paratroop spamming. I had a little spam myself there going. I mean, super heavies will chew through some paratroopers, but as much as they use, it's still a pain in the ass. Moscow is done. You know, I always looked at that Saratov place and I was just like, what the hell, that's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And then I was reading some story online and that name came up. I guess it was a pretty big place for like making nuclear material. The story was about polonium poisoning and like Saratov came up as one of the only places you could still get your hands on that. So it was an interesting story. But we are coming up on another 12 minutes. So I think I'll wrap it up after I get all my moves in. And that is going to do it for Brazil 9. We got a pretty good push. Next episode, I think we can recapture England. And then we got that dreaded Chong King push. But anyways, thanks for hanging out and watching my videos. If you like this content, be sure to slap a like and subscribe. And I will see you here for our next episodes. Peace!